Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. Probably the most excited I've ever been for one of these best of series videos. I can't wait, one of my favorite distilleries, here we go! That's right, it's Four Roses. Now, you might say to yourself, what from Four Roses are we gonna taste, everything? No, 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 but we do have all 10 of the single barrel barrel strength recipes. So big shout out to a supporter of this channel, David Perrin, I cannot thank you enough, sir. He collected all 10 of these, gave them to me in little sample bottles. My wife has poured them all blind here all blind. Now you might say a savvy viewer might be able to count that there's actually 11 glasses on here. Not only did David provide the 10 single barrel barrel strength recipes, but he also provided a sample of the 2021 Four Roses limited edition. That's also in here. So 11 barrel proofs to go through tonight. Not sure how well the end of this video is going to be, just to be fair. Uh, we are going to try to rank them to the best of my dwindling ability as we go through this lineup. Um, but I will try to give some notes for each. They're probably all going to be you know, delicious, delicious as we go through. But I've never had really many of these recipes. The only recipes I've ever had are the three behind me in the, in the big bottles. I, those are the ones I own. And those would be OESV, OESK, and OBSK. I believe OBSK is what's in the standard 100 proof, but those are all the barrel strengths there behind me. So, not to feel left out for those that have a small batch select, or the single barrel 100 proof at home, we, we will warm up our palates with those. So starting here with the single barrel 100 proof. Very traditional bourbon flavor in the nose. I get some honey, caramels, vanillas. It's pleasant, a little bit of spice on there. Maybe, maybe a hint of leather even? Very good news. Hey, the single barrel 100 proof is, is good. It's got good spice, a little bit of leather, a little bit of oak, caramels, vanilla, it's delicious. For around 40 to 45 doll hairs, depending on where you are, it's a, it's a good pickup. If you haven't had one, I would suggest you get it. Now, we're not going to cover the $80 tan label because it's straight garbage. Small batch, we're not going to cover either because A, it's not as good as the single barrel 100 proof or the small batch select. So, I do also own the small batch select coming in at 104 proof. This is six of the 10 recipes. So, all six are blended in here. Uh, the six that are in here are the OBSV. The OBSK, OBSF, OESV, OESK, and OESF. You're really going to get sick of me saying that throughout the night, most likely. But this comes in at 104 proof, and it is around $65 here in Pennsylvania. So it is the most expensive of the core lineup of Four Roses. Let's give that one a little nosing. Oh, I mean, it's... A little bit darker fruit characteristic to it. It's just darker. More intense caramel. Some more oak. And just some, some darker, like almost like a, maybe like a faint hint of cherry, but just a little bit of a darker note to it that I'm enjoying more than a single barrel hunter proof. Let's take a sip. Yeah. It's got some fruit in it, almost like, like a candied pecans or just like candied oak. Very good. The small batch select is the best of the core lineup of Four Roses. So if you can't find a single barrel barrel strength, buy the small batch select. If you can't find that, buy a single barrel 100 proof. All right, let's get these out of the way and get down to business. Okay, if you did not know, there are 10 recipes to Four Roses. We have each of the 10 are represented down here below in a glass. All poured blind by my wife, like I said earlier. 
I will try my best to rank them. You will see multiple colored glens here that are the same. So for instance, we have two golds, but one of the golds has a white sticker on the side. Sorry, I do not have 11 different colored glens. Uh, you will notice my palette cleanser, normally a Deer Park, but I did upgrade at the Sam's Club this week, a little Fiji. So, you know, Deer Park really never sponsored me, never watched this video. Maybe Fiji will. Artesian water. Crisp and clean. <clears throat> all right, uh, also, if you did not know, all the single barrel barrel strengths are store picks. You must find a store pick of this. They are not on the shelf ever as a shelfer. Um, unless you go to the distillery, and then it's a distillery pick. So they're all picks. Um, some recipes are harder than others to get. Keep that in mind. Um, it's why it's a struggle for people to get all 10, unless you know somebody. All right, so thanks again, David. I'm sure this is going to be a fantastic. Again, I've never had any besides the three that were back there that I've uh, told you about before. All right, so we're starting with gold with no sticker. Let's give it a nosing. Oh, sweet heavens. I mean, this is going to be, for me, one of the best of these I've done. I'm getting the oak. There's just like a like a candied oak, a little bit of leather on these. Gosh, they smell good. I don't know the years on these. I don't, I don't know if you wrote it on the sample bottles. Let me take a quick peek. So here's a random... Uh, sample bottle they sent me it has the proof and what it is and i believe that's like the the rack or rick house it came from so um so there you got it confectioner sugar oak leather and just like some some candied fruits delicious let's have a sip good mouth feel it's like a like a fruit cocktail on the mouth. Whoo, that's good. So far, first place, the gold glass. Fantastic. If you've not had a Four Roses single barrel barrel strength, just go buy anyone you can find. Um, these are generally 90 to $100 a bottle, so they are expensive. All right, up next, well, we'll do the green Glen Cairn here with the sticker. So this is a green sticker. This smells like nearly identical. Let me go back. All right, some slight differences. This one smells a little drier. But then there is that, there's a very dark aspect to this, a dark fruit. I still get the leather in the car. These are all gonna smell probably pretty similar unless we find one that really jumps out, but Less confectioner sugar on this than on the gold, though, I will say. Let's take a sip. Wow. The finish is staying longer on that one. A little spiky. It kind of dumps with almost like a mint up front, which I don't normally like mints in my bourbon, but it wasn't off-putting to me. Uh, wow, the finish is still going. There's like a pop of mint, and then we got like a little bit of oak, and then like more mint, maybe. And then some of the fruits all the way through. Uh, this one was good. The finish was about three times longer than the gold glass. Um, excellent. I might move this one to first. <clears throat> all right. The blue Glen Karen with no sticker. Oh. The nose is a little stronger on this one. I get the confectioner sugar, almost like a like a roasted pecan walnut on the nose. Confectioner sugar, caramels is there. A little bit of oak. I'm not getting much leather on this one. All right, let's take a sip. She's a spicy gal. I'm going to guess that that's a OB. I didn't say this earlier, but OE is the low rye, OB is the high rye. A little spike of rye flavor there in the end. Got kind of the dark fruits, the caramel, then boom, a little bit of rye spice. Very good. Man, so far, have not found a loser yet.
you know, all those so far neck and neck. All right, up next, the red Glen Karen. Ooh, um, I'm just gonna hint a banana on this one. This goes a little bit like, like banana nut bready. Also with you know the same confection of sugar and caramel. Oh, some more oaks popping through. This is a little spicy on the nose even. Let's take a sip. Kind of what you smelled is what you got. Um, it was spicy, caramels, like a lot of baking spice. Got a hint of that banana nut bread. The finish though, not as long as our green and our blue. Our green with the sticker and our blue. All right, up next, green without sticker. <sighs> Sweet heavens, this is like, there's less oak and leather here, more, more just caramel and toffee and like some lighter fruit notes. I could be convinced of mint even on the nose, but it smells really good. Let's take a sip. That came across as like minty with a little bit of rye spice to it. Not a super long finish. I would say good, but not the thickest or the most complex of this series. That might, that might be in last place for me so far. Still though, worth the price of admission. <clears throat> All right. Up next, the clear glass, which does give us a chance to just look at the colors. Look at the colors on that. It's it's dark. It's not the darkest whiskey we've had, but it's uh it's dark, and alludes to its barrel proof character. All right, let's get this on the nose. Very similar to whatever else we've been smelling. I get the leather, the oak, the caramels. I do get a little bit of banana bread on this one, but not as much as whatever other glass I said that was on. I have been ranking them off to the side over here a little bit in my mind, but I will go back through them. I mean, it smells delicious like they all do so far. All right, let's take a sip. Wow. That's like maple pancakes. Long finish. I get the caramel, the oak, the leather, and I get like a huge burst up front of just like good dark maple syrup on some pancakes. That's delicious. I mean, it's just going to be up near the top of that pile, right? I mean, I have really hardly any discernible first and last places except green glass without the sticker was my uh, lowest so far. All right, we have now gold with sticker. Let's give it a nosing. This is like a like a, like a toasty graham cracker on this one. Still the oak and leather and caramel. The Four Roses has a very distinct nose and flavor. Even the single barrel hundred proof and the small batch select had that. It's just it's that Four Roses aroma. Uh, it's it's a good mix of vanillas, caramels, oaks, and leathers um, in varying degrees. And then you do get either dark or or more confectioner sugar depending on uh, which which one it is. This nose is kind of middle of the road for the rest we've been seeing. It's not too dark and not too light. All right, let's take a sip. Packing a good amount of complex flavor. Good finish. On the finish, I almost get like, like a little like fruit roll up, fruit punch flavor going on. Very good. I would say that this is an OE recipe. It doesn't taste very high rye to me. Could be completely wrong, but very good. Caramels, confectioner sugar, um, toffee, and then like I said at the end, kind of have like a little good baking spices throughout. And then the end, just a little bit of a little fruit punch flavor going on. Very enjoyable. I'll put that in the middle of the pack as well.
All right, our one and only black Glencairn of the night. See, we won't have to remember a sticker or not for this one. Oh, she is a dark, fruity little thing. I get cherries, strawberries. Wow, this one's dark. Delicious nose. I, I still get the, the oak, hints of leather. Not as much confectioner sugar on this as others. This one's pretty dark on the nose. Let's take a sip. All right. Wow. Um, very dark, heavy caramels, dark fruit, m medium to long finish, not the longest, not the highest proof, but this sucker is moving near the front of the pack. <clears throat> All right. Clear with sticker. Again, fairly dark. I don't know if that's any darker than our other one, but it, she's dark. Maple syrup and pancakes on this one. Just tons of maple. It's like a Canadian version. Vermont. You know, a little bit of... Uh, maple. Sounds like breakfast. That's what this one smells like. Let's take a sip. So that's a good generic barrel strength barrel proof it's good nothing stands out nothing seems weak on this it just seems like whew, straight average it's got good caramels good vanillas good oak good leather confectioner sugar but it's not it's not super dark it's not super rye forward um, or spice forward everything about it screams middle of the road um, so, depending on how you feel about it, that's probably not going to rank near the top. Thank you for staying with me so far. We have two more left. And this one is blue with sticker. Oh, we're back to a little bit of a darker nose. Banana nut bread again. Leather. Good old caramel and oak, baby. This is a little bit darker. Dark fruits. I get some strawberry on this. Not as much cherry as that, as that one I was impressed with. So, let's uh, take a sip. That's what daddy likes. Woo! Good, good dark. Dark fruits. Caramel, just like burn caramel. Finish isn't super long, but huge bursts of flavor. Bourbon Bill on this channel likes just big old flavors, robust flavors. This has it in spades. I'm still tasting the caramel and toffee. Very good. This is going to rank up near the top of the pack. And finally, last but certainly not least... Red with sticker. Let's give it a nosing. Also very good smelling. A little on the darker side. Not quite as dark as that other one though. This has the cherry, strawberry, leather. Oh man, she's dark. Caramels. Vanilla. It smells fantastic. So let's take a sip. Mm. Good proof. Coats the mouth well. Mm. Still going. I think that's a higher rye version with more of the B in it. She's spicy. Wow, that's good. Um, I get almost the most leather on the finish of that one. Um, very complex in the flavors. That is going right to the top. I even get a little bit of a smoke in that. All right, so off camera, I'm going to go back through these, rank them, take a little bit of time because that was a lot of barrel strength bourbon. And I will come back with my rankings. I will not actually guess them because I have no clue. Uh, but I will come back with my uh, rankings and then we'll find out what they are together.
Welcome back, everybody. I have my rankings. It was very tough. The only one I was sure on was Dead Last. Dead Last felt like it belonged there. The top four, I could really interchange the top four at any, any given moment. It was really tough. I mean, drinking 11 of these and then going back through and trying to sift through them again, it was tough. Let's just put it that way. So I'm going to read to you in reverse order from 11th to 1st what I picked. Also, the notes that they call out on the card, okay? So I got the answer key here. In last place was green with no sticker. Green with no sticker was... There's so many to choose from on here. OBSO. Now, OBSO says... Slightly fruity, spicy, medium body. Didn't do it for me tonight. It was a clear loser. All right. In 10th place was gold no sticker. Gold no sticker was... OESK. OESK says spicy and full bodied. Don't know. Kind of felt towards the bottom of the half. Ninth place was gold with sticker. Gold with sticker was OBSF, which was minty, fruity, spicy, and full body. Don't know if I called that one. You know, I really might have called these wrong. Um, all these were good though. Even, even the last place I'd buy if I saw it in the store. Eighth place was clear with sticker. Clear with sticker was OESV, which I believe I, I also owned an OESV. Dang, all my favorites I thought would be near the top or towards the bottom. OESV is delicate, fruity, fresh, and creamy. It says on the little sticker here. I don't know, it kind of fell behind tonight. All right, clear with no sticker was next. Seventh place. Clear was OESQ. OESQ is floral, banana, refreshing and medium body. I do not remember if I said banana on that one, to be honest. We'll have to, hopefully you watch it, and I'll watch it back through and I'll know if I was right or not. In sixth place is red glass with no sticker. Red was O-E-S-O. -E that's a favorite of a lot of people. That's one of the harder ones to find, O-E-S-O. O-E-S-O says, fruity red berries and medium body. So, um, there you go. In fifth place tonight. Now we're towards the top half here. Fifth place was green with sticker. Green with sticker was OBSV. OBSV says delicate fruity pear apricot spicy and creamy. That, that sounds pretty good. And it got fifth tonight. Now, the top four or five could have been interchanged a little bit. It was really tough when you went through all these to kind of nail it down. Fourth place tonight, the black Glencairn. The one and only black was... OBSK. So OBSK is the standard 100 proof, um, but it was also in you know, barrel strength form tonight. OBSK says rich in spiciness and full bodied. So there you have it. it. It was. It was up there. Third place tonight was blue with no sticker. Blue with no sticker was OBSQ. OBSQ is. Well, this is funny. Floral, spicy, and medium body. I don't know that I got floral on that one. Let's just, the top three here, let's... I didn't. It's it's dark caramel. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. In second place tonight was the blue with sticker. Blue with sticker was Four Roses 2021 LE. So if you had doubts, you're like, you know, Bourbon Bill's palette's terrible. He did pick the Four Roses 2021 LE in the top two. Okay? May have screwed up a lot tonight, but that did come in second tonight. It was delicious. Um, only reason it didn't come in first, very complex flavor. Only reason it didn't come in first was because 
the first place had a little bit better finish. So if you know all 10 recipes, you're going to know what came in first, but I actually don't. So in first place was red with sticker. Red with sticker was OESF. Have never had it before. I need to find me one of those. OESF is minty, fruity, and full body. Now, not having these before, if I was, you know, given this little key card here and I said, someone's like, you can have one that's minty, fruity, and full body. I would say, you know what? I'll pass because I'm not a fan of mint. I did not get the mint on, on Red with Sticker tonight. So, I don't get the mint on it at all. It was killer. Listen, all these were very good. Goes to show you that the 2021 Four Roses LE could be topped by a very good store pick. All right, if you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Have a great evening, everybody.